<sighs> Let's all just take a moment to just indulge in this volume right now. Like, do y'all see? This volume, do y'all see this definition? This wash and go. Okay, we just, we about to talk about the whole wash and go, okay? <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Candy Girl, two Y's, three L's, and I'm back with another one. And this video is um, a part two of the Ask Any Indian Healing Play video. Um, that video got almost a million views and I'm so thankful. Thank you guys so much for supporting that video. Like, <laughs> I have no words. Like, I have no words. Um, so, because you guys like that video so much, I decided to do a part two. And um, the part two is different from the part one, just because I'm taking you through the entire process. Um, you guys had a lot of questions about like how I washed the Aztec Indian Healing Clay out of my hair once I applied it. So in this video, not only am I going to apply the Aztec Indian Healing Clay to my hair, but I am also going to show you how I wash the um, clay out of my hair as well. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, y'all, so we're gonna start making this clay. So the way I use my, or make my clay mask is I use about two cups of the actual bentonite clay, and I use an equal amount of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Um, so if I use two cups of the bentonite clay, I'm gonna use two cups of the apple cider vinegar, and then I'm going to add in some Jamaican black castor oil. Um, oh, <laughs> like that's what it is, just oil. Um, this oil helps strip the hair, replenishes hair, rejuvenates hair, nourishes hair, and has natural ingredients. Um, it's one of my favorite oils, so this is one. And it's also a very heavy oil, and I'm going in, I'm putting this into the mixture because, because it's a heavy oil, and I'm going to wash my hair right after it, it'll be a good, um, you know, product to use for just kind of like pre-proof pre-poo before I actually start on the process of, you know, washing my hair. Because that's basically what this benzonite clay mask is. It's a pre-poo that you put on your hair, but it's like the ultimate pre-poo, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing all the ingredients together. Now, most important thing, if you notice, I, ooh. Yeah, it stains so bad. It stains so bad. Oh my God, I'm just gonna go ahead and start stirring it up. This smells. And it's making this funny sound like it's about to erupt or something. All right, so here we are. This is what the mask looks like, what we got so far. If you notice, I use a plastic bowl and a plastic spoon to mix the ingredients together. That is one of the key parts in making this concoction. You cannot use a metal spoon, you cannot use a metal bowl to get this concoction together. You have to use a plastic spoon and a plastic bowl when you're mixing them because the point of this mask is to pull all those metals out of your hair. So if you mix in metals into the concoction, it kind of takes, you know, it, 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 it eliminates the point, you know? So it's like, yeah, plastic spoon, plastic bowl. As I'm applying this mask onto my hair, y'all, I'm just gonna go into it using small sections, um, kind of like what you see here, and I'm just gonna take my hand into the clay, like so, and then just start applying it onto my hair. Aztec Indian Healing Clay is so good for your hair. It draws out toxins, impurities, and residual hair products out of your hair, and that's especially good for girls who do wash and goes all the time, because when you do this Aztec Indian Healing Clay mask, it draws out those residual products and impurities um, within the mask, and when you rinse the mask out of your hair, it's also rinsing out all those residual products and impurities as well. It also doesn't strip your hair of moisture. It leaves your hair squeaky clean, but it doesn't strip your hair. Um, it actually opens up your hair's cuticle, so when you apply your finishing products on your hair for your wash and go, your hair absorbs those products better, which makes your hair actually more defined. Um, it also is really good for kinky curly hair because like I just said, it um, clumps your curls together and defines your curls. It also tames the frizz and flyaways from your hair um, and keeps your hair under control and it also makes your hair super shiny. 
It also contains um, products like silicone, protein, calcium, sulfur, and iron within it, which makes your hair super strong and really, really shiny. And for my girls who suffer from dandruff or eczema, um, Aztec Indian Healing Clay alleviates those scalp issues, so you don't have to worry about an itchy scalp. So I really, really love this clay because of all the benefits that it has. I let the clay sit on my hair for about 20 to 30 minutes. I didn't sit up on a dryer or anything. I simply just let it sit on my hair until my hair got extremely stiff. And then I rinsed it out of my hair. As you guys can see, I'm paying very close attention to the roots of my hair because as I stated before, the Aztec Indian Healing Clay sticks to those residual products and the dirt that's left into your hair from the environment. So you wanna make sure that you focus on the roots of your hair so that you won't leave any of the clay behind as you're washing it out. And as you can see, like I'm already getting a lot of definition just from just rinsing my hair out of my head. Like I haven't even added any products to my hair and I'm already seeing tons of definition. Like y'all, I love this mask so, so much. Look at these curls. Like my curls are clumping together and I haven't even put any products on my hair. You can really see the difference with using this mask. I'm now going in with Shea Moisture Strength and Restore Shampoo. And just like I was focusing on my roots when I was rinsing the clay mask out of my hair, I'm gonna do the same thing with the shampoo, making sure that I scrub the, my scalp to ensure that I am washing all of the clay out of my hair. Unfortunately, my camera died when I was shooting this video, so I wasn't able to show you guys the full wash day routine after I applied this mask to my hair. But I shampooed my hair twice to make sure that I got all of the Aztec Indian Healing Clay out of my hair. And then I deep conditioned my hair using Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. And I sat under the dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes to make sure I was getting a deep hydration from that deep conditioner. I would highly, highly recommend that you guys deep condition your hair after doing a mask like this. I mean, you should be deep conditioning your hair every time you wash it anyways, but if you don't, make sure that you deep condition your hair after applying this mask to your hair and you'll see amazing results after you get finished shampooing and deep conditioning. After deep conditioning my hair, I followed my normal wash and go routine. If you guys want to see my wash and go routine, I'm going to leave a link right here at the top so you guys can click on it and watch that video. Um, but this video is strictly about how I apply the mask to my hair. And these are my final results after I do my wash and go routine. This is my hair wet. And then this is my hair completely dry. As you can see, it has tons of volume. It has definition. And I just love like how my hair looks after I do a mask like this. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Catch you later.